What's going on, GOAT gang? Welcome back to another pair. I am your host, Nate, aka The GOAT. And today, I will be reviewing the Nike Kobe Pro Tro 5. By now, y'all should already know how we like to do things over here at another pair, bro. Before we start the actual performance review, I just gotta give y'all a few little thoughts, you feel what I'm saying? The Nike Kobe Pro Tro 5s are fire all the way around, dawg. Don't matter what kind of player you is, y'all gonna like the shoe, bro. Like, I love the shoe. I had fun hooping in the shoe. It was nice. I got a few gripes. I got a few little, a couple things that I, you know, I didn't like whatever, but that's just me nitpicking, bro. They wasn't nothing major at all. You feel me? Like this, this is a solid option to hoop in. I'm telling you, y'all is going to like this kick, dog. Well, some of y'all, not everybody got the same taste around here. You feel what I'm saying? Because I be looking at some of y'all girls and they be looking so trash, but y'all be like, man, my girl so fine, dog. She black. And I just be like, yo, I mean, you think she look good? Cause uh, she ain't, you feel me? But you know, that's cool. You know, that just goes to show you. Not everybody got the same taste, you feel me? So hey, some of y'all gonna like this kick. Some of y'all gonna hate the kick. But majority of y'all is gonna like the Nike Kobe Pro Tro 5. Starting off with the traction, you got like this uh, aggressive pinball maze kind of looking pattern that showed out on just about every court I played on. Didn't matter what it was. Clean court, stuff. Dirty courts, solid. Like slightly above solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that a solid plus. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, these things will collect dust, but if you keep up on your whites, you're going to get that solid plus grippage, you know, that's gonna allow you to keep cooking them boys out there on that court. You follow what I'm saying? Like, you know, I you know, I, I really ain't got no complaints about the traction, bro. As long as you keep up with the wipes on dirty courts, bro, this traction will not let you down. I can promise you that much. You know what? I'm not gonna promise that because I know some of y'all are probably out there hooping in courts that I can't even imagine. You feel me? So, um, let's just say, like, if you got a super duper 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 dirty court to the point where you can't even see the three line, then, you know, maybe these might not work. But you, you, you got, like, your average 24, your average Average court that got like heavy traffic on it. Keep up with your wipes. This traction is gonna be Gucci, baby. Moving on to the cushion, which was also one of my gripes, but nothing major. Um, in the forefoot, you get a, a, a zoom turbo bag encased in the cushion midsole. Back here in the heel, you get like a, a foam bag, is what I want to call it. And uh, I say foam bag because according to Nike, they say the cushion line in the heel is supposed to act as if there was like a um a zoom bag back there. Like it's supposed to feel like you got some a zoom bag in the heel, which you don't. It's all strictly foam. Hence the name I created, Foam Bag, dawg. Ain't that dope? Foam Bag. I probably should have patented that because I feel like the next shoe Nike come out with this, they're going to say, hey, you got Foam Bag back there, right? Am I right or am I wrong? You feel me? So, uh, <laughs> I said it here first, dawg. You feel me? But, uh, yeah. The overall cushion setup on the Kobe 5 is fire. I enjoyed it. You guys will enjoy it. It's comfortable. It's, it's soft, responsive. All that good stuff. Now, the gripe that I have, if you are standing in this shoe, like at a dead standstill, your heels is going to sink down in that Foam Bag. Bag, that Kush line foam bag, you feel me? And uh, it's kind of weird. You get like a weird feeling. Like your forefoot, forefoot is kind of sitting higher than the heel, which kind of gives you like a a, a spike cleat kind of vibe. You feel me? Like if you ever ran track, like I ran track in high school. If you ever ran track, just imagine you got on a super duper comfortable track spike. You know how your your the spike got your forefoot up a little bit and your heel is like on the ground. Yeah, it's just weird, man. But trust me, you will get used to it and, and you will continue to uh, serve up some buckets because, like I said. The overall cushion setup together is fire. Now, for the materials, you get like this fuse upper that was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest. Just okay. It uh, took a little bit for this stuff to break in. It was somewhat on the stiffer side. And uh, one of my gripes that I also mentioned, like, this was another one of my gripes. I was getting like a popping sound, like right here in the toe, bo toe box every time the shoe flexed and like popped back in place. Like, I was getting a legit popping sound that was like literally irritating me, dog. It, once these broke in, that popping sound, even eventually goes away. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to the sound. I have no idea. All I know is like every time I was running down the court, I was just hearing and I was like, yo, what is that? It was the materials, man, but it's just a fuse upper for real. Nothing too special, you know, a, you know, a, a little hard, especially if you coming from the PG4. Like I was just hooping in the PG4, had to get that review out there. Those materials are, are like super soft. And then coming to these, I feel like these was a little on the hard side, a more, little more on the stiff side. Still nice, still wrapped around the foot. I just wish Nike would have went like with something a little more softer. That's just in my opinion, you feel me? But um, I mean, I still got no issues with it. That's just me nitpicking about the little poppy sound. And you know, not everybody is going to probably 
experience that, but I did. I can probably make it pop right now, actually. Just wait, I'll pop it. Hold on. Can y'all hear this? Hold on. Here we go. Kinda. Ah, forget it. I can't make the poppy sound. Watch me make it. All right, forget it. As for the fit, I did go true to size, and that worked for me. I do have a narrow foot, so um, if you got a narrow foot, then I recommend y'all to go true to size. Wide footers, if you can, please go try these on in store because I don't want no fat feet people, no offense, saying, bro, you said go true to size. Like, bro, I don't know what kind of feet you got, you feel me? And if you don't know if you got a wide or narrow foot, just go into the store and try these on for yourself anyway because my fit might not be your fit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, everybody's different as, <laughs> as I explained at the beginning of the video, so yes, true True to size work for me, true to size might not work for you, especially for the wide footer. So if you can, just go into the store and try these bad boys on you, feel me? And last but not least, we got the support, which was A1, day one, I have zero issues. Like the Kobe shoes usually are pretty good when it comes to the support anyway, and the Pro Tro 5s did not disappoint me at all, dog. Like the shoe is just like great, bro. And then majority of that, majority of that support though is coming from the fit. The fit is freaking incredible, dude. Like, like I like the fit in the Kobe 5, dog. And once you find that right fit it's just it just adds to the support dog and whoo wait like bruh your heel be locked down once you tie these bad boys up you ain't going nowhere external heel counter look at that wide base you got a huge outrigger out there so ain't none of that teeter and stuff bro it's like the support in the couple brush on five which is like all day you know i'm you know what i'm saying a one day one for a show for the support you know <laughs> do i need to keep going on just know that the support is gonna have you stable locked down and ready to just serve up buckish shred them boys out there you feel me <laughs> overall the nike kobe pro Tro 5 is like like i said it's a solid option for any kind of hooper out there bro like you know the shit was the shit was just dope bro it got it got some solid traction out there nice support and the materials is you know it's doable you feel me but like the overall about this shoe i liked it i enjoyed it once you get over the weirdness of the sinking in and all that bro y'all gonna have fun in this kick i definitely have fun in this kick i'm gonna continue to have fun in this kick and um i'm also excited to see what kind of colorways that they gonna bring to the Proto 5, dog. Like, like huh, that Bruce Lee colorway, though? Mm, do y'all think they gonna do that? Cause, ooh -wee. Well, if they did a Bruce Lee colorway, bro, that boy gonna hit. That thing gonna, that thing gonna sell out quick, bro. But that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at another pair underscore. And as always, I'ma see y'all in the next video. Holla. I'm on a new way. Got a car, at least one pair. Wear test, hoop gear, shoe review. Another pair, another pair, another pair, another pair, another pair.